friends, this is Jude. Welcome back to Drop of Divine Mercy. So this is a time that we get together and we get inspired by the words of St. Faustina, our wonderful saint who inspires us to always believe in God's mercy. And I'm using our companion book, which is Jesus Speaks to Faustina and You, to get our meditation and our reflection for this week. And I'm actually taking a meditation from September the 15th, which was the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. And the heading for this particular meditation is The Essence of Tears. And this is from St. Faustina's Diary, 1775. She writes, after these words, my love made great efforts to express to him what he was to me, but I was at a loss for words and burst into tears in my helplessness. And Jesus said, for you, I am mercy itself. Therefore, I ask you to offer me your misery and this very helplessness of yours. And in this way, you will delight my heart. The Diary of St. Faustina, 1775. Our reflection is, scientists have looked at tears under extreme magnification and have learned that depending on the emotion that causes the tears, they have very different appearances. Tears of grief and sorrow look like shards of broken glass. Tears of joy and happiness look like beautiful landscapes. And tears from onions look like pressed ferns. When we, like St. Faustina, cry, Jesus sees the very essence of our tears. When we cry from helplessness, he responds with mercy because we have entrusted his deepest essence to his care. And in doing so, we delight his heart. Our prayer today, dear Lord, you know me even to the kind of tears I shed. Jesus, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And this particular meditation today struck me because I was listening to a particular artist, a musical artist, and I was really taken by that particular song that they were singing, so much so that I actually had tears in my eyes because it really was touching. It's not only touching the way the artist sang the song, but also the beautiful lyrics that were expressed. So I was moved to tears. I've also been moved to tears many times when I'm at mass, when I'm before the Blessed Sacrament in adoration, when the priest holds up the consecrated host and we're in the presence of Jesus in the body and blood soul and divinity there in at mass so i thought it was fascinating to take a look at the differences within the actual teardrops and we know we can cry tears of sadness grief tears of anxiety i was with a friend of mine, and she was very anxious. She had so much that was going on. Her heart was so heavy. She was under so much stress that she actually broke down and cried. And you know that we've all been in a situation in our life where maybe so much is on our shoulders. And we're trying to go on day by day, and we're just overwhelmed. And sometimes we bury those emotions because we have things to do and we have tasks that we need to accomplish. We have people that are counting on us. 
but the stress can be quite overwhelming. And so we get it out. We get it out by shedding tears. We may get it out by a burst of anger, possibly, towards someone we're not even angry with, but it it just takes sometimes a situation and we fly off the handle. And then we, we feel remorse for having handled it that way, flying off the handle about something to someone who had nothing to do with our emotions in the first place. So God knows our tears. God knows our anxieties. God knows uh, the grace that happens at those moments, as I mentioned, when I'm at Mass, when I'm in church, or when I get touched by a song that maybe takes me back to a different time in my life, maybe memories that I had really not thought about for quite some time. So this reflection today hits me personally because I have expressed tears of emotion, tears of joy. I have seen it for myself with a friend of mine who was overflowing with tears as a result of the stress that she was going through. So in this passage, we can reflect this week on Jesus seeing the types of tears that we cry, knowing that we cry, as a reflection said, from helplessness. And he responds to us with his mercy. And his deepest essence of his care, like it was told in this passage. And I know if you're like me in those moments that you might have expressed to someone or just had a good cry, maybe you heard a song that you love and it just touched you deeply, or maybe you watched something that touched you deeply and you wept. And usually after we have that good cry, we do feel better because we have gotten those emotions out. But let's not forget that in that expression of emotion, let's not forget to just call on Jesus. Jesus, I trust in you. I give you this particular feeling that I'm feeling at this very moment. And please help me to sort it all out. Please help me to, to find grace in this moment that I have been touched, that I have been affected, that I feel moved to be in your presence when I'm right there where your blessed sacrament is exposed. And you are talking to me one-on-one. -on -one. So let us go forward, my friends, this week to remember that the God of mercy, the God that we trust when we say our divine mercy chaplet and we say, Jesus, I trust in you, really is there for us each and every day, in each and every moment, in each and every tear that we shed, that he has his loving arms around us, that he has our back, that he will provide. So my friends, I hope that you're able to pray with me, go to the link below and pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet, this beautiful prayer that we love so much and that we're devoted to calling on Jesus and remembering that through our tears, through our pain, we can unite those tears with the tears of Jesus's passion, of the suffering that Jesus endured for us on the cross. So my friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Please leave your prayer intentions in the comments and I will be praying for you. Please pray for me. God bless.